Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Deneen and this is Design by Denine. Today I'm participating in a Thrift Flip collaboration which is hosted by Sandra at the Schwoven's Nest. Sandra is joined by myself and these talented ladies, Nancy's Magic Touch and DIYs, Jeter's Blessings, Moxie DIY and Java, and Make It With Mia. I don't know about you, but I'm really excited to see what everyone does with their flips. I have links to everyone's channels in the description box below as well as the playlist, so when you're done here, please go and check everyone out and show them some love. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that notification bell as it helps to support my channel. Okay, let's make some stuff. I picked up this painting at the thrift store for $19.99. Not a screaming hot deal, but it's really good sized and I was really interested in the frame. To remove the canvas from the frame, I just pushed the staples and the tape back that were holding it in place and then I just lifted it out from the frame. This is the canvas portion that I removed. It's face down on top of the poster which is also face down and I'm just tracing out where I want to take off the excess on the poster. I used spray adhesive to attach the poster to the backing and I'm using, as I said, the back side of the canvas. So I took my time to carefully align the top end so that it was straight and exactly centered where I wanted it. And then I basically just unrolled the poster and used spray adhesive as I went. Then I just flipped it over onto the front so that it would have a chance to adhere to the backing. Here's a better view of the frame. As you can see, it has three different finishes and textures to it. And I gave the whole thing a coat of Rust-Oleum spray paint in white satin. Here I'm checking it out to see if I like the way it looks with the poster and I decided that it needed a little bit more contrast so I'm taping off just the raised kind of braided portion of the frame and then I just did like a little corner as a test sample to see how I liked it and I decided that it looked really good so I taped off the rest of the frame. I'm using my favorite Rust-Oleum metallic silver spray paint. I love this paint and I'm just painting it on the sort of ropey sort of portion of the frame, the raised portion of the frame. I don't know about you guys, but I love peeling off the tape when I've had something taped off and I'm painting it. I love the, I love the reveal. Before putting it back in the frame, I needed to go around and trim off all the excess. There's just a little bit of excess all the way around. And I just used my X-Acto knife and it's pretty easy. You just basically run it right along the edge and it cuts it off nice and clean. Make sure you have a nice sharp X-Acto knife for this. The last step is to just pop the canvas with the poster on it back into the frame and to bend down the staples over the back and voila, fresh new look. If you like this poster, I got it off Amazon and I've linked it in my description box below. I picked up these cool vases at the same place as the painting. They have kind of a mid-century vibe to them. I really love the shape of them. So same as the painting, I basically started just by giving them a coat of Rust-Oleum, but I didn't do this in satin, I did this in, in gloss. Um, I find that if you're painting on glass, gloss gives you a much better adhesion. I also gave these a coat of clear gloss before I applied anything else. I used this dollar store silver metallic nail polish. I had it left over from another project. I gave it a little bit of a shake 
to apply the nail polish. I just got it so it was just ready to pour out of the bottle and then I just sort of flicked it back and forth so that it came out kind of stringy. Also, I needed to keep turning the vase as I was applying the nail polish. It's a tiny bit tricky, but uh, the point is to try and get kind of a random pattern. You're trying to avoid getting blobs of nail polish, kind of like that one there. <laughs> But if it happens, just let it be, it'll be fine. If you try to wipe it off, you'll just make a bigger mess. Here are the finished vases. I think they're kind of funky. But here's the thing. If you did this and you decided that you absolutely hated it and you had messed them up, I would just take some acetone and wipe it down and start again. That's the cool thing about working with paint. You can always paint over it. And the moral of the story is don't be afraid to try something new. You might come up with something really cool. What do you think? Do you like this finish or not? Let me know in the comments below.